Hey guys, this is Joe from Digital Phantom, and here we come with another tutorial of the short circuit series of video tutorials under seven minutes. So in this video, what we're gonna create, what we're gonna do is, um, you see, I have my local host here set up. Um, I installed Zamp, um, which has PHP enabled, and what we're gonna do is uh, embed images on the HTML file directly on the HTML file so let's get started with that so right here I have three images and um, actually it's one image um, but in three different formats so let's show you guys what, what it is so it's the Digital Phantom logo in three different formats a GIF, a JPEG and a PNG file so let's get create a new um, PHP file. I'm going to call it index.php. Yes, I want to rename it. And then here I have my win uh, my uh, browser open and that uh, directory at uh, that address. And of course, you see the blank file in PHP. Okay, so let's open that up. And just notice the name names of the files. It's Logo that gif logo that uh, logo that PNG and logo that JPEG. So here we have Notepad plus plus. There we go. Let's open. Let's open and close the PHP tags. PHP. PHP okay. And let's create uh, images equals an array, and it's gonna do an associative array. Of the three images, and let's put the format here at the beginning. GIF, and then logo that GIF, and let's copy this and paste it, and PNG and PNG, and let's paste it again. Let's just only have three. Let's delete the comma, JPEG. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is embed those images into into the into the file into the HTML file that's gonna be generated by this. So let's get that. So for let's get a for each loop images as type and source good and let's um, get them ready so to do this we have to encode it in uh, to do a base 64 encoding so we're gonna do it in a table and with the left column of the table will display the format and the right column will display the image so let's embed HTML inside PHP let's break that from PHP and let's do a table table and let's do a table row okay actually now we can't do a table row there have to close the table there open the table tag there and then let's close this here push B and close the table tag sorry my mind was went crazy okay so now let's indent this a little bit so we can get a better representation of how that looks and inside this let's do that and now let's go ahead and do the rows uh, TR let's duplicate this and let's close the TR tag now here what we're gonna do is uh, we we'll still have the tweet TD TD and let's let's go ahead and duplicate this sorry okay so do we have the two columns or in this case the two cells for a row and so we're gonna have a table with three rows and two columns so these are the two columns and these are the three rows the loop is gonna get generate the three um, um, rows so for those of you who don't know, this is the short tag for P 
PHP echo inside HTML. So we're going to echo the type. And then here, we're going to echo something else, but we don't have it yet. So it's going to be open image tag. Oops, sorry. Image src equals open uh, quotes, close quotes here, and close the image tag. Okay, so that's a basic image uh, tag. And now here we're going to echo base64 encode. Remember, I told you how to do that. And then we're going to put file get contents. And then we're going to get that from source. Good. And then here we have to put outside the PHP tag, it's going to be called, it's going to be data colon and then image, oops, image uh, for slash. And then we have to also put um, the format of the image. And we're going to open a short tag too. Although we could do that inside of here since we already have that. Let's concatenate that string with. Uh, well, let's actually do that with this, which is easier for you guys to understand. And type. And then uh, we have to put a, a colon and then specify the encoding base. 64 and then a comma after that so essentially here what we have is image data colon image and all that so let's refresh this in browser because we're already all over seven minutes and there you go that's what that's what we get so you see you may say oh there's uh, actually no difference to what we'll see if uh, if the file was actually linked from the image tag but let's view the page source and as you can see, it's really huge, the source, the page source of that. Since the image, you see the source, nowhere on the source shows where the actual image is stored. Because what you get is the image embedded into the HTML file. So this is going to be useful for files where you don't want the user to, uh, for images where you don't want the user to view where you store the images of your of your document or, or your web page or something. And uh, it's also going to be useful for our next tutorial in which we're going to develop our own CAPTCHA. So nobody knows where the CAPTCHA is. The CAPTCHA is actually going to be em embedded there. So I hope you guys like this and hope um, this brings some use to you, to, you, to your projects or something. So if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep track of my videos and tutorials. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. So see you next time, guys. Have a wonderful time.